world. I'm Stephanie Jennifer, certified Zen Tango teacher based in Singapore and artist extraordinaire. And in this video, we're going to take a look through my book of love. Now, the book of love project was an idea that I came up with while I was pregnant. I wanted a book where I could keep photos and uh, memories of my pregnancy and the days that followed for my daughter and also include well wishes from family and friends and also other Zentangle artists all around the world. As you know, I am the admin for Travelling Tangles project. So I thought this, was, this would be a very, very good idea uh, as a keepsake for something for my daughter. So this is an explanation of what the Book of Love is. The Book of Love was thought up as an idea for my Zentangle friends to give me advice about love, life, marriage and parenting. It eventually evolved into also being a mini lock on my pregnancy journey and then eventually my birth and first two weeks of being a parent memory book. The saying, it takes a village to raise a child holds much truth and how blessed are you Charlotte for having so many people love, care for and think of you. I hope you come to treasure this book and the volumes that will follow it. They contain fragments of memories, well wishes from across the globe and countless blessings from your fam from family and friends. Know that you are love, you always have been, you always will be. Your mummy, Stephanie, with all my love. So, moving forward through the book, the first uh, tile that I received was from Terry Hall in California. Dear Stephanie, these were the two things I had most trouble with even though my even through my children's adult years. Got better as time went by. Good luck to you too. And the tile says, follow through and be consistent. I also kept uh, any cards and uh, interesting stamps that were sent to me. This was from Karen Rushton, Iowa City, USA. Uh, smile, laugh, talk with your child. I have watched my daughter-in-law interact with my grandbabies. So much love as she talks and smiles as she changes a diaper anytime. The babies respond even at birth. I love it and her for it. I hope all goes very well for your growing family. This was, this is my tile, but it was a quote from someone else. Children are great imitators, so give them something great to imitate. This was my ultrasound at 14 weeks, and this was my Christmas present from me to my husband in 20, on 25th December in 2016. Very nice card. This was from Rohini in India. Uh, dear one, your, your love is bringing a new being into the world. Enjoy your role as caretakers and love givers. Help your baby fulfill the sole task he or she has chosen. Celebrate the moments. May you together teach, learn, give, receive, grow, blossom, and above all, radiate love. Buffing and growing a baby is the most awesome gift in the universe. Enjoy and stay blessed. And she also sent an extra towel as well. Oh, so cute. Little card. Stephanie and Alex, congratulations. Alex is, of course, my husband's name. My words of wisdom are, remember, not everything in life is black and white. There is often a lot more than meets the eye. So see the colours and shades of grey too. Good luck to you both. Charlotte Carpentier from Temecula, CA, USA. Beautiful towel. This was me at 18 weeks. I started to have a little bump and uh, we were celebrating Chinese New Year. On 16 February 2018, this is a towel from Deborah Huff on California, USA. Hi, Deborah. Uh, this was from Leslie Freyus, Freyus, sorry, Dallas, Texas, and she sent a card. Make sure you always put your husband first. Children are only with you for a short time, and then they leave home to live their own lives. But you and your husband, hopefully, will be together for a lifetime. So bond now as best friends and lovers. You can't spoil a baby, so if the baby is crying or fussing, make sure that you respond right away. The only way babies know how to trust or love is that you are there whenever they cry out for you. So pick the baby up and love her and let her know that she is loved, wanted, and cared for, and that she can trust people to be there when she needs them. Then you will have a well-adjusted child and grown up. This was from Jem Miller of West Sussex, UK. She sent a little note as well. You can see, I believe that one of the most precious things you can give to your child is the seed of memory, which may grow into trees that feed and shelter them for the rest of their life. You don't have to be impressed. They don't have to be impressive or expensive, and you won't know which ones will take root and which won't, but some are sure to. 
My parents took me on a simple holiday. On simple holidays when I was a child, we had a caravan and drove it to the nearby counties for a week or two here and there. On these holidays, we did simple things, country walks, visits to zoos and museums, spent time on the beach playing in the sand. On one trip to Somerset, we visited some locally famous caves and on the same site they had a heritage museum dedicated to the paper mill that used to be there. It had operated for hundreds of years and only closed for business in 1972, the year I was born. I watched a demonstration of paper being made and the ma that magical transformation from pulp to paper lodged, lodged somewhere deep inside me. When my love for Zantango was growing, I sought out English made paper and managed to find some made by a company very near to the one that I visited as a child. But earlier this year, something truly magical happened. I found a website selling original papers made at Wookie Ho Mill before it closed for business. I bought some and one piece became this towel that I drew for you. The paper was made in the 1960s. It has lasted blank and waiting to be marked. And now it is about to set off on a journey many miles from me to you to add to your book of love to continue a never-ending story of paper of memory of love. That is so sweet. Here is the towel she speaks of. Beautiful paper. Thank you so much, Jem. This is from Chris Latuno. I am I'm sorry if I'm butchering anyone's name from Ohio, USA. Dear Stephanie, my advice to you is to enjoy the time you have with your child. They usually do grow up so fast. Do not worry about the small stuff and almost all is small stuff. Best wishes and much blessing to your family. This was ultrasound at 22 weeks, uh, 3D ultrasound, very cool, kind of creepy. And this was a just because present from me to my husband. This was from Michelle. Dear Stephanie Jennifer, fill your days with joy, lots of sparkles and happy times with your baby. And don't feel guilty when you need to sit and rest. Hugs, Michelle. Beautiful towel. Thank you so much. Dear Stephanie, this towel reminds me of how families are entwined interwined and connected with love. Three words to keep in mind in marriage and parenting are love, love, forgive. P.S. My daughter is expecting a baby in October. Love, Jen. Thank you so much. Oops, Mr. Page. Uh, a CTT in Singapore, actually, her name is Mabel, Mabel Yap. Uh, she helped me send a bunch of tiles from Australia and uh, I cut out this little piece of calligraphy tape and taped it to, to the paper. So these are all, I think the Australian tiles have all been scattered throughout and eventually we'll get to Mabel's uh, actual towel. But here is to Stephanie, all the best with your new little treasure. Regards, Yvonne Rain from Keynes, Australia. Thank you so much. This was a photo of me from uh, 25th March 2018. I was 23 weeks pregnant here. This was a towel from Laura Van Up. Uh, this was not actually a towel sent for uh, the Book of Love. It was a Travelling Tangles towel that I completed. But I really like the towel and I thought to stick it in here. From Jean Choi, Hong Kong, Dear Stephanie, I wish you will be a good and happy mom for your child. Fantastic. Thank you so much. This was from Claire Carroll. Who am I to give advice about marriage and parenting? But in my experience, humor helps. It definitely does. This is me at 32 weeks. I remember being so, so huge that people thought that I was uh, having twins. And when I say, no, no, I'm only having a single child, they'll say, oh, it's a boy. I'm like, no, it's a girl. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, you are so, <laughs> you are so big. Your belly is so big. I'm like, yep, yep, I am. I actually gained uh, 30 kilos throughout my entire pregnancy when uh, the recommended amount that you should gain is 10 kilos. So I, I gained three times the amount, the recommended amount. This was at 37 weeks on 17 June. I remember just really, really wanting to, you know, give birth soon enough because I was really, really huge. This was a picture taken during my baby shower. This is a towel from Karen Pokenhorn from Australia. Congratulations on the news of your baby girl. Listen to your own instincts. Take advice from others and just smile. And then from here on, on 17 June 2018, uh, it was things from the baby shower. This is a towel from Alicia Sativa from Thailand. This is also not uh, a towel for the, baby, uh, the, the Book of Love. It was just a Travelling Tangles towel that I stuck in as a place marker. The next few pages are well wishes from families, uh, 
and friends that came to the baby shower, I told them to write down some advice and well wishes that they had. And some people brought cards. And also they gave us gifts. So this, this is Carrie and Kristen, they are friends. They brought gifts for us in a nice card. Very, very cute. Um, this was part of the decoration that I cut down. Catering from Orange Cove decorations. And then I wrote down what we ate during the day. Shiny balloon confetti. Uh, one of my best friends bought balloons for the event. And um, the balloon popped. <laughs> Basically, my husband tried to move the balloon and popped the balloon. And I was very upset about it. But you get over it, right? Pictures, more pictures from the event. This was Hush, the person that bought the balloons. One of my best friends. And then some of the gifts that she uh, gave the baby, some clothes. And then a group photo of all of our family members. Oh, and then uh, I'm supposed to have put a picture of the thumbprint tree, but I have not. But I did frame up. Uh, actually, one of the activities that I had during the baby shower was having everyone to sign a onesie, and I framed it in a box frame from Ikea. Very, very nice gift. And then a little letter to Charlotte. And then the days that follow, funny pictures of our cats. Uh, one of our, We have two cats. One is mine, one is my husband's. Uh, my cat sit, sat in the bassinet, my husband's cat sat in the, the top, the buff top, the baby buff top. Deanna Gibson, in the delivery suite and during pregnancy, play relaxing music. Take lots of photos of your baby. Take time to sleep when the baby sleeps. That is very, very true advice. A present from Anne-Marie. Uh, she sent me um, a baby bib. And I was actually considering to get a bib sometime soon. So it's very coincidental and the universe somehow finds a way to provide. So this is her heartbeat during an ultrasound and I said that I cannot wait to meet her. This was gelato that I had uh, with a friend. Sorry for the noise. They are renovating something nearby. Uh, dear Stephanie and Alex, congratulations for the impending birth of your baby girl. Uh, best wishes from Yvette Campbell, Australia. Fantastic little child. And then uh, this was from Mabel Yap. And this is her towel. I saved it for this page because I thought it would be a nice placeholder. So this was after baby Charlotte was born. She was born at NUH National University of uh, National University Hospital. Then this is a flower gift that one of uh, my husband's aunt gave to us. And then my best friend Hash visited us and she gave me uh, body lotion, body scrub and body oil from uh, Bath and Body Works which was a really really great present. This is my mom. This is Hash. And then this is little handprint and footprint of Charlotte when she was five days old. Deborah Huff says, Hi Stephanie, congratulations on your dear daughter. Nothing taught me about the depth and breadth of love like holding my first newborn. Enjoy each moment as a treasured miracle. Love, Deborah Huff. Fantastic and cute little stamps that she sent in as well. Thank you so much, Deborah. And then it was just... For subsequently, it was just uh, pictures of Charlotte and me. And then closing words, this was also from Deborah Huff. Uh, and then closing words from me. We have spent almost two weeks with you when I was crying due to how overwhelmed I was earlier this week. Your father said to me, look at her, things will be okay because there is you and me and her. And I think that sums it up perfectly. Every time I get a quiet moment with you, my heart feels full of joy. And yes, we will be okay, I'm sure of it. So this was day 11 and we finished this book of love. But I also have a volume 2 that will be in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.
this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more zentangle videos and also slightly sentimental videos like this one and i'll see you in my next one until then keep tangling